Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to talk all about a great PlayStation 4 exclusive coming to PC, but maybe in unfortunate news, it will be exclusive to the Epic Game Store, at least for the time being. However, Tetris Effect is an awesome game and I do want to bring some attention to that. Also, we have details on Ubisoft Plus. This is Ubisoft's new subscription service akin to what EA is doing with EA Origin Access Premier, as well as Microsoft Xbox Game Pass. Ubisoft is looking to offer all of their games on one subscription service for $14.99 a month and we have the rundown for all of the games and I do want to take you guys through that and speaking of subscription services Xbox Game Pass on PC is getting a little bit of an update with four new games being added new games have been getting added pretty consistently and I want to talk about some of the major games that have been added recently as well and we'll talk that at the end of this video, but first up, Tetris Effect, which was formerly a PlayStation 4 exclusive, is coming to PC on July 23rd. So yes, one week from today, Tetris Effect will be dropping on PC. Unfortunately for some people, there might be a little bit of a barrier as it will be an Epic Game Store exclusive. Now, it wasn't noted if this is going to be a timed exclusive or if this is a game that's going to come to Steam sometime down the line. But you can already see that a lot of people are upset about it, given the fact that if you look up the official Tetris Effect PC and announcement trailer 336 likes to a thousand dislikes so yeah pc gamers aren't all too happy that's generally the case whenever a game is an epic game store exclusive in this case at the very least they didn't like promote their game all over steam and this wasn't a crowdfunded game or anything like that i know we have lessened our expectations quite a bit when it comes to the epic game store but nonetheless it is what it is this is a tremendous game i played this game on the playstation 4 and while it does have that fundamental and basic tetris gameplay experience however it's accentuated by its incredible presentation, incredible visuals, those elements they really get right. The visuals are great, the presentation is stylish, I can't say enough good things about those elements, the music is also very good, and if you do have a VR headset, the game is even better, it had full PlayStation VR support, and it was honestly one of the best PlayStation VR games, and it's noted that this is the ultimate version of Tetris Effect, the PC version is capable of running at resolutions of 4K or more, with an uncapped frame rate if V-Sync is disabled, and includes ultra-wide monitor support, which is pretty great as well as other expanded game and graphical options for both 2D and VR play, including adjustable particle volume and size texture filtering and more not found in the PlayStation 4 console release. Music, background, sound, special effects, and everything else pulse, dance, shimmer, and explode in perfect sync with how you're playing, making any of the game's 30-plus stages and 10-plus modes something you'll want to experience over and over again. So yes, while I am incredibly excited about Tetris Effect making its way over to the PC, I'm also incredibly disappointed about it being an epic game store exclusive i'm sure the studio and enhanced games got a ton of upfront money and it would probably compensate them versus the fact of losing a ton of sales being released exclusively to the epic game store i think if this game was released on pc with the full vr support that it has it would do really really well because not only are you catering towards those people that are looking for quality vr games and tetris effect is of immense quality in that regard but also it's a game that you can play with traditional controls and from that standpoint i think people would be all over it as well and if you released it at say 1999 on Steam. I think it would have sold very, very well. Now, how much is Epic Game Store giving enhanced games? Probably somewhere in the ballpark of, you know, seven figures. So seven figures is a lot of revenue. And I can understand from a financial standpoint why they're making this decision, but you always have to question the long-term ramifications of decisions like this. Does that make the overall popularity of a game like Tetris Effect diminish quite a bit? Is this game ever going to come out on Steam? We don't have clarity as far as those elements go, but considering Quantic Dreams titles will be Epic Game Store exclusives as well, it seems like the door has been opened for some of these PS4 exclusives to come to PC, but unfortunately, they are EGS exclusives, at least for the time being. So unfortunate news while also being good news, because at the very least we can play the game on PC but let me know what you guys think okay so another big changing element in gaming these days is all of these subscription services I know a lot of you guys are subscribed to Xbox Game Pass right now that's five dollars a month on PC it is going to go up to $10, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And there's EA Origin, there's other services like Humble Monthly, and now Ubisoft is getting into the foray with Uplay Plus. Uplay Plus will be $15 a month, and it includes the backlog of all Ubisoft games, and on top of that, the real selling point to Uplay Plus is the fact that you're getting all upcoming Ubisoft games as well. So in terms of the backlog, it's north of 100 games, and all of the games have been detailed. You're looking at all of the Assassin's Creed games, you've got Brothers in Arms, all of the Far Cry games, You've got the Might and Magic games in there, Prince of Persia games are in there, the South Park games are in there, which is very nice. All the Tom Clancy games, you're talking Ghost Recon Future Soldier, Ghost Recon Wildlands, you're talking Rainbow Six titles, Splinter Cell titles, all that good stuff, and of course, 
all of the upcoming games is really the selling point here. And not only do you get the base game, so let's say you're really excited for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you're not just getting the base game, you're actually getting the gold edition. That also goes for games like Watch Dogs Legion. You're getting the ultimate edition of that game if you stay subscribed. Now, obviously, you'll only have access to the games as long as your subscription persists. So do keep that in mind, but all of that content for $15 a month does seem rather good. Now the question remains, it's $15 a month, but are they going to offer some sort of yearly service where you can pay say $80 or $90 a year, even $100 a year? And that is your year-long subscription. Because $15 a month, while that does sound kind of cheap, especially if you factor in the fact that games like Watch Dogs Legions, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, they are $60 games and the gold editions are even more expensive. But I don't know, something about paying $15 a month every month, I don't know if that's something I would keep running for a long time. Xbox Game Pass, on the other hand, is $9.99 a month and it does seem like at this point, it has a more enticing lineup of games and it's being added to a lot more often. Origin Access Premiere, of course, that is $15 a month, but you can and sign up for a yearly subscription so all of those factors do have to come into play but not only as i mentioned you get the breakpoint gold edition you got the watchdogs legion ultimate edition the existing titles will be the complete editions as well so if you don't have assassin's creed odyssey you're getting the ultimate edition of that if you don't have assassin's creed 4 black flag you're getting the gold edition of that ac rogue ac syndicate all of those games you are getting the highest edition possible so you get all of that additional content which is pretty nice so let me know based on all of the games being included based on all of the upcoming ubisoft games being included in the service as well is this something you're interested in do keep in mind that it looks like upcoming ubisoft games will be epic game store exclusives and you play exclusives they will no longer be released on steam existing ubisoft titles of course still available on steam but if you look at upcoming games it does seem like all those games are going to egs or you play exclusively so in that regard either you're just going to be missing out on the ubisoft games or you're going to migrate over to you play and maybe even subscribe for this subscription service obviously you can cancel whenever so let's say breakpoint comes out in october you can sign up for you play Plus, you can play the entirety of the game for a month, see how you like it, and then you can cancel your subscription right there after. I know for a lot of you guys, you own a lot of the games that are a part of the Vault catalog, or you just have no interest in them because they are older games and you like playing the newest games, whatever the case may be. But nonetheless, I did want to detail you guys through that. And lastly, speaking of subscription services, Xbox Game Pass on PC has been one of the more compelling ones. Right now, it's only $5 a month, so I would highly recommend you to subscribe Given all of the quality content that is a part of that, you've got Metro Exodus on there, you've got games like Gears 5 coming, you've got Gears 4 on there already, Halo MCC is going to be on there, there's a lot of good stuff on there, and games are being regularly added, and they just announced that coming to Xbox Game Pass on PC, Killer Instinct Definitive Edition, The Banner Saga 3, which is awesome, love me some Banner Saga, a series that is really underrated, but I highly recommend people to check it out, you've got Night Call and For the King, so four pretty high quality games being added, and on top of that, Blazing Chrome, a game that I recently talked about and I didn't even realize is a part of Game Pass on PC. It's $16.99. It just came out. It's this old school action indie retro 2D side scrolling shooter. Marketing back to games like Contra and Metal Slug, it looks awesome for those of you guys that dig games like that. That game is available on Game Pass right now, so Game Pass quickly amassing a quality library of games on PC, and for the time being, it's $5 a month. And I know some people were able to finagle it and get Ultimate Game Pass subscriptions for an insane period of time, so that's great. On top of that, if you're an Xbox Game Pass subscriber on PC, the Gears 5 beta is going to be kicking off soon, so a lot of good stuff coming to Game Pass on PC. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, while an awesome PlayStation 4 exclusive is coming to PC, unfortunately, it is an Epic Game Store exclusive. Uplay Plus has detailed all of the games that are going to be a part of that service, and it could be quite good. And Game Pass continues to evolve and continues to get a better library of games. That's probably the best subscription service available right now if you look across the board, especially given the fact that it is only $5 a month right now. That's going to conclude this video. Let me know all of your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comments as well and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.